everyone, especially to all grade 7 learners out there. Welcome to DepEd TV. We are assuring you of a day full of learnings and discoveries. I am Mam Maricon, your Science 7 teacher. Come and join me, we are Sci Connected. How are you today? Are you ready for another round of learning? Before we start, make sure you have your pen, paper, and self-learning module. Can you still recall our previous lesson? So, to give us a short recap on our previous lesson, let me introduce to you my friend Connie, a passionate educator and a blogger. Hello guys, this is Connie, and today, I'm going to show you what's in my bag. Let's first describe this bag qualitatively. Can you give me details of this bag using your senses? Yes, it's color brown with some black parts. It has a metal sling, it's handy, and rough. Now, let's try to describe it quantitatively. Let's see how many pockets this bag has. There is one, two pockets. So, what's in my bag? Can you help me describe what's in my bag? The most important thing in my bag, especially during this pandemic, is this alcohol bottle that I use as disinfectant to prevent COVID-19. It's a 60 ml bottle that has 70% isopropyl solution alcohol in it. Why don't we calculate the volume of this isopropyl solution? Let us first identify the given values. Since the alcohol contains 70% isopropyl alcohol, it means that 100 milliliters of alcohol contains 70 milliliters isopropyl alcohol. Let's try to solve it. We will multiply 60, which is the volume of solution, to 70 milliliters, which is the percent by volume, and divide it to 100. So, the calculation shows that in 60 milliliters of alcohol, there is 42 milliliters of isopropyl alcohol. I also have my wallet, face mask, and face shield here. So, this is everything that is in my bag. I hope that you guys like this video. Thank you so much! What was our previous lesson all about? First is the concentration of solution. Second, the qualitative and quantitative descriptions of a solution. And third, percent by volume. Welcome, Maricon. You seem to be very lucky today. I am Cybot, a robot with an IQ of 1000. I can be your science buddy for the next quarter if you can answer my challenging questions. Where did Cybot the robot go? I was excited about the challenge question he was supposed to give me. Anyway, why don't we go straight to what we will learn today? In this episode, you will learn how to solve problems involving the concentration of solutions and the way to express them quantitatively. Are you ready? Well then, Prepare yourselves and enjoy watching while learning. I need you to accomplish the following learning goals today for our mission. Number one, define mass percentage. Number two, solve percentage by mass related problems. And number three, identify the importance of the concentration of solutions in our daily lives. Do you remember how we measure concentration? 
You already know measuring concentration by identifying the volume percentage. The other way is by mass percentage. What is mass percentage? Mass percentage is one way of representing the concentration of an element in a compound or a component in a mixture. Assume that we have a solution containing component A as the solute and B as the solvent. Then its mass percentage is expressed as mass percentage of A is equal to mass component of A divided by total mass. For example, when we say that we have a 10% solution of sugar by mass, this means that 10 grams of sugar are present in 100 grams of the solution. Let's practice by doing this activity. What to do? Number 1. Analyze the situation. Number 2. Answer and solve the problem. Milk is known as a complete food and a good source of calcium that can keep you full and curb your cravings for junk food. Every morning, we drink milk to strengthen our bones. If you prepared 100 ml solution with 5% powdered milk for your mother, how many grams of milk did you use for her drink? In the given situation, your mother asked you how many grams of milk did you use for the 5% powdered milk solution that you prepared for her? Let us first identify the given numbers. For the given numbers, percent concentration is equal to 5% powdered milk solution. Volume of milk solution is 100 milliliters. 1 milliliter is equal to 1 gram. Therefore, 100 milliliters is equivalent to 100 grams of solution. Mass of solution, 100 grams. Converting 5% to a decimal will yield 0 0.05. From the formula, mass percentage of A is equal to mass of the component A divided by total mass. We can find the required amount by multiplying the total mass by the percentage that was converted into a decimal number. So, 0 0.05 multiplied by 100 grams produces a mass of 5 grams of milk. The percentage concentration by mass is the amount of solute divided by the mass of solution, all multiplied by 100. This is just like another percentage calculation which uses a fraction of 100. Thus, we are taking the mass of the total solution, which is composed of the solute and the solvent. Then, we must come up with a fraction, and then that fraction is multiplied by 100. Let's practice solving some problems. 40.5 grams of calcium hydroxide is dissolved in enough water to make 215 grams of solution. Find the concentration percentage of calcium hydroxide in the solution. The given values are Mass of solute is 40.5 grams of calcium hydroxide Mass of solution, 215 grams Required Percentage of concentration of calcium hydroxide Take note that the mass of the solute, solvent, and the solution must be expressed in the same units. We will use this formula to solve the problem. Percent by mass is equal to mass of solute divided by mass of solution multiplied by 100. Let's solve the problem by substituting the given values in the formula. Percent by mass is equal to 40.5. 40.5 multiplied by 100 divided by 215 is 18.84. The concentration percentage of calcium hydroxide in the solution is 18.84%. Now, it's science fact time with Mamcon. Do you know that copper is the only metal that has natural antibacterial components? According to studies, 
copper has an antimicrobial effect. They conducted a test where a bacteria and viruses that caused the pandemic were put into contact with copper. In each case, the copper contact killed the pathogen within minutes. This study led the invention of the copper mask. We can only surmise if copper will completely protect us against COVID-19. Washing hands with soap and water, applying alcohol as a disinfectant, wearing a face mask and face shield, and taking good care of our body is a much better way to combat COVID-19. Amazing, right? That's today's Short Science Fact with Mamkot. I am a robot made from a variety of materials such as zinc and copper. The challenge is to find the mass percentage composition that forms my right hand by mixing 325 grams of zinc with 482 grams of copper. The answer rounded to the nearest tens will serve as the numerical password so that you can reset me as your science buddy. Once you get the code, state it and do a high five with me because that means you've won the challenge. Shall you accept it? Cybot the robot is back! Yes! Of course! We accept your challenge. Let's identify first the given values. The mass of the components. Mass of zinc, 325 grams. Mass of copper, 482 grams. Mass of solution, 325 grams plus 482 grams is equal to 807 grams. Required, the mass percentage concentration of both zinc and copper. You can solve the problem by using the formula. Percent by mass of element is equal to mass of element divided by mass of solution multiplied by 100. For the solution, let's substitute the given values in the formula. The composition percentage of Cybot's body is 40% zinc and 60% copper. Hey! Where did Cybot go again? So let's go back to our next topic. What do you think is the importance of knowing the concentration of the solutions that we use in our daily lives? This knowledge is very important in the field of medicine because it indicates the solute needed for making drugs in the appropriate amount that is needed by the body of a patient. Furthermore, it indicates the intensity of the solution needed. For example, it is important to indicate the concentration in muriatic acid to ensure that it is used in the right way and where it is supposed to be used. The higher its concentration, the more corrosive it is and that can be dangerous when it is not used properly in a situation. Labels of products sold often show the concentration of the solute in it expressed as a percentage by volume or mass. The alcohol used as a disinfectant is a solution of 70% ethyl or isopropyl alcohol, meaning 70 milliliters alcohol. There are also solutions sold as 40% ethyl or isopropyl alcohol. Vinegar is often labeled as 5% acidity, which means that it contains 5 grams of acetic acid in 100 grams of vinegar. Pure gold is referred to as 24 carats. Jewelry that is said to be 18 carats contains 18 grams of gold for every 24 grams of the material. The remaining 6 grams consist of other metals like copper or silver. Here are some examples. If the material has concentration of 75% gold, that is 18 divided by 24 multiplied by 100 while 14 carat or 14k gold contains 14 grams gold and 10 grams of another metal, making it 58.3% gold. Now, let's test your mastery of the lesson. Prepare your pen and paper. Read the questions to be flashed on the screen. 
write the letter of your answer. Are you ready for the assessment? Let's start! Number 1. What is the percent by mass concentration of a solution that contains 5.30 grams of salt dissolved in 19.7 grams of water? A. 27% sodium chloride B. 21% sodium chloride C. 4% sodium chloride D. 1% sodium chloride Table salt is the common name of sodium chloride with the formula of NaCl. Since the solution contains 5.3 grams of sodium chloride and 19.7 grams water, the total mass is 25 grams. There is 21% sodium chloride in the solution. If your answer is letter B, you did it! You are correct! Number 2. You bought an 18 carat ring which contains 18 grams of gold. What is the percent by mass of gold in the ring? A. 95% B. 85% C. 75% D. 65% You are precious as a gold if your answer is letter C. Nice going because you got it right! Number 3. What is the percentage concentration of 2 grams sucrose in 80 grams of water? A. 2.4% B. 2.5% C. 4.0% D. 97.6% You're as bright as a star if your answer is letter A. Very good! You got it right! We are now done discussing today's lesson. And I congratulate you for that! You are now ready to explore the next quarter. Finding the concentration percentage is easy if you know how to analyze the problem. The concentration of a solution can be expressed by finding the percent by mass. Percent by mass is equal to the mass of the component divided by the mass of the solution multiplied by 100. Now, it's time to be connected on one of our question senders in Sci Connected on Dep and TV page. Our question sender is AC, 14 years old from Bunsuran National High School, Schools Division of Bulacan. Her question is, why does Earth have gravity? Let's define gravity. Gravity is the force by which a planet or other body draws objects towards its center. Why does Earth have gravity? The force of the gravity keeps the Earth in orbit around the Sun. Why do you land on the ground instead of floating? Why do things fall when you throw or drop them? That is because of the gravity. Earth's gravity is what keeps you on the ground and what makes things fall. We could not live on Earth without it. It holds down our atmosphere and the air we need to breathe. Thank you so much for your question, AZ. Hope that everyone gained additional information from it. If you have science questions, simply post it on SciConnected on DepEd TV page. Kindly follow this format. Cybot the robot is back! Hey Cybot! I finally got the answer to your challenge question. The numerical code is 4060. High five! And you are now reset as my science buddy. Congratulations, Con! I will be your science buddy for the second quarter. I am so excited to share my knowledge with all the learners out there. I hope that you've learned new things today. 
Thank you so much for sticking around and we hope to see you next quarter. Remember that your learning does not stop here. If you want to watch my previous episodes or a replay of this episode, simply go to DepEd TV's official YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe and to click the bell so you will be notified every time we release a new video. Again, this is Maricon and Samin. And I am Saibot, her sidekick. Scientifically saying, think critically, do things differently, and develop your ability.